Hello everyone and welcome to another video. We are in Folkestone, which is not somewhere I often find myself, but it is somewhere he often finds himself as he lives here. We are here to take Matt through his first sprint triathlon and, as you can probably tell by his facial expressions, general body language and overall demeanour, he's very full of confidence and very excited about this, aren't you? I'm, I'm the opposite to those, those emotions. I am I'm genuinely terrified. I'm not even like egging out for the camera. I'm honestly very scared. Like, especially the swim. I mean, I guess it's good the swims first because I can get it out of the way, but at the same yeah. time, it's the shortest part as well. If I die, that means I'm dying straight away. I haven't mm. even got some bit done not first. Not even a third done. Yeah. That'd be disappointing, wouldn't it? It would be really bad, wouldn't I it? I mean, I'm here to hopefully prevent that, maybe, or we might get competitive and it's just dunking. See you later. <laughs> we'll find out soon. We'll find out soon. But the sea is actually okay. It could be better, it could be worse. Weather was rank this morning, but it's all right now, which is quite lucky. But we're just gonna see how things go. Not much more ramble from both of us. Make sure you go back and watch the squat video from when we're here on Monday. Today is Tuesday. Before we go any further as well, a couple things to request. One, like the video, this is sick. You should definitely go and do that. Two, comment down below because there's a lot going on. You'll have a lot of things to say, I'm sure. And three, Matt, take two at this. What are you gonna do to people if they don't subscribe? Um, I'm going to swim to your town, irrespective of whether it's a coastal town or not, if it's not, I'll find some kind of waterway. I'll get to your house, I'll sleep in your garden, I'll then call up Andy, because he's way weirder than me, tag him in, I'll go home, he'll take my spot, probably camp out for a week to two weeks in your garden just to get a feel for the house, your kind of general you know, time scale, what you're doing, and then when you least expect it, probably when you're asleep or in the shower, he'll creep up behind you and kill you and then remove your skin and use your skin as some kind of carrier bag like a like a bag for life um a skin bag for life skin bag for life a bag from life a bag from life for life to carry his groceries yeah just there forevermore so it's your call but If I finish the whole thing and I'm still alive, I'll be absolutely buzzing. So we are set up and pretty much good to go. Wetsuit on. Matt is well, in better than I expected, my but... sleeveless one. And it, I must say, fitting remarkably well. It's kind of horrifying that with the same weight, same body shape somehow, even though he looks significantly more jacked than pretty much anyone on the planet, to be fair. But we are here, he's terrified. I'm actually not all that confident about getting out and confident in this water because it is rather brutal. But nonetheless, we are set up, ready to go. I think, basically, what's gonna happen at this point, oh, no, before we do that, breaststroke, talk us through it. Matt, Matt can't really swim. So, <laughs> whoa, okay, so <laughs> I live on the beach, yeah, and I swim in the sea semi-regularly, but I always, my default is just breaststroke. I can breaststroke for a good amount of time, feel fairly comfortable in the sea. However, front crawling, with my head in the water, like I feel fast, but within genuinely 30 seconds, I feel like I'm gonna drown, genuinely, like I can't breathe. So my game plan here, I'm gonna try and do front crawl bits, but I would imagine the vast majority is gonna be breaststroke, because otherwise there's no way I'm gonna get around the swim. Like, you're saying the, the, the wet will help buoyancy wise. It'll pick it, it'll, we're both quite bottom heavy, which so I'm significantly faster in a wetsuit, so picking his hips up a little bit will probably make it feel a bit easier. But, saying that, it's, not, magic, it's right. not going to be a quick fix, like yeah. the sort of thing you need to practice and get used to for it to be more comfortable. But I think we're talking too much, we're not swimming enough, so in three, two, one, I've done that wrong. What I'm going <laughs> to gonna gonna try say, again three, two, is... Two, one. I won't be swimming, yeah, yeah, I won't be swimming. I'm going to try again, and there will be a swimming montage in three, two, one.
tell you what, that was quite shocking that. Big tide pull as well, we actually ended up doing 980 metres. I felt like I was swimming like on a travelator. Like at one point I was swimming and I'm pretty sure I was going backwards. How are you feeling? Oh, all good mate, just chopping. There was a bit of a tide pull when we were out with the boat. So, truth be told, we did just shy of a K. Um, so, happy days, but there we are, on the bike. Fairly decent, could have been a lot worse. It was choppy, decent tide to contend with. We ended up just doing shy of a K because we actually drifted quite a lot when we were out there. But, he did well, he did well. Um, time, kind of irrelevant, but it was around, around the half an hour mark. There were a few stops where we just, uh, Took a second to get our bearings, but no, nah, all good. We are ready to head on to the bike. And if I'm in close, I'm literally shivering. Right. What are you right footed? Yeah, whatever foot feels natural, get that one in. And then push yourself off. So that was the only big hill of the course. The rest of it's pretty simple. That headwind on the way through the promenade was as bad a headwind as I'd ever experienced in my entire life. So I was trying to get Matt just to sit in my draft. Oh, timing. I'm glad we chose that for my first ever triathlon. Thanks, mate. That's perfect. If anything, let's get some more wind. I don't make the weather. It's really enjoyable. It's really enjoyable. My quads are in a really bad place right now. make life a lot easier. That was good that. So actually 23.5k. We swam like double the length took and then us, did an extra. Us, took us just under an hour and to be fair we were the, the headwind this way was absolutely disgusting like arguably one of the worst headwinds I've ever suffered through. That so first bit, the first bit on the when we first got on the promenade is like I felt like I was trying so hard and I literally was barely moving. That was extremely demoralising. So for any cyclist, I was holding about 400 watts for about six minutes here, moving about 22 kilometres an hour. So I was barely moving for an awful lot of effort. I just told Matt just sit in my draft and get as much as you can. But 
even that we just it was difficult to work with so 5k now that's definitely the bit he's looking forward to least <laughs> that's like, I, like i've never experienced hunger while i was doing activity like during that bike i felt like i was gonna faint i was unbelievably hungry like, I, I, i'm gonna eat the biggest lunch any humans ever consumed good to go are literally cramping. We've gone about 200 meters. Almost say that you're uh, in the bin a little bit. Sorry, sorry. What? So, 27.36, which given that for the first K he was really struggling with quad cramps, fought through him, really good effort there. And uh, yeah, given that's first triathlon, that's Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But there's an aftermath. Being like that's complete spurs of me. Oh. It feels like someone's like cut half of my quad out and it's just half the length. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh, my quad. <laughs> Can you try and like, I don't know, just pummel here? It's like in spasm. This is what this was all about. <laughs> this is the gratification. Why is it only my left quad that's in spasm? Oh! I st started the run and literally immediately both of my quads just went into like full cramp. So that was. Uh, yeah, at that point I thought there was no way I can even like run it, let alone do a reasonable time. Oh my god, I'm so glad that's done. So I can't remember the exact swim time. I'll be on the screen somewhere, but it was just under 30 minutes. But we did get caught in a bit of a um, bit of a tidal swell. Oh. It was just under a k. The bike was just under an hour for 23 and a half k, and the run was 27:36. So not bad, not bad. 
Not bad for a bulk pony, I was going to say, but then I choked on the dairy milk that I was eating, so that could have been better execution. But for those that don't know, when you come off the bike onto a run, when you start training like that, you, it takes a lot of time to get used to the feeling in your hips, the feeling in your quads. And as this is the first time he's ever done that, for those wondering what that entails, here we are. And we are finito, for those that don't know. Is that Italian? <laughs> it is, that, yeah, that is Italian. I was going to say Spanish. We are finished. Probably Actually, is, I should, probably have just, Spanish as well. should have just led with just that. Latin, that is done. 750 meter swim, 20k, well, 23 and a half k bike and 5k run. Obviously, I was guiding this, well, guiding Matt through this today. Swim was just under half an hour, but we did get caught in a bit of a tide pull and drifted a little bit, which meant it was actually just under a K. <laughs> drifted so quite a lot. Good planning there. Yeah, he actually <laughs> looked, up, he looked up at one point and said, what did you say, <laughs> on a on an escalator Travelator. or something? Yeah, travel I was definitely going backwards at one point while swimming forward, so that wasn't a nice experience. Yeah, I, I had noticed and wasn't sure whether he had, so thought, let's just keep going and see what happens here. <laughs> Onto the bike, 23 and a half K, absolutely brutal headwind for a little bit. I was pushing 400 watts for six minutes, moving at 22 kilometers an hour, which is ridiculous for anyone that's been on a bike before, you'll know. That is just not a fair trade-off for effort versus distance covered. One big hill, which I knew was going to be a challenge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was, yeah. And then big descent. It was actually quite a dodgy descent, to be fair. Narrow lanes, and it was fast. I think I was, I peaked at 65, 70k on the on the bike computer that I looked at. 5k run, first brick, well, first triathlon. But when you get off the bike, get onto your feet, you feel like one of those inflatable things you see at gas stations in America with your hips, and you got used to it. Fought through the fought through the quad cramps. There we go, a bit of a mouthful. And here we are. Five kilometers later in 27.36. Yeah. Just basically held 6K pace, then pushed 5.30 for the fourth kilometer, then pushed sub five kilometer, minute per kilometer pace for the last one, and he saw it through. So that is job done. I'm bit sure of, what I'm, 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 like, ple I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised at the, I, I reckon if my quads hadn't been such an absolute pair of melts, I could have done a reasonable 5K so, time. Sub 25, sub 25 is yeah. there yeah. with a like one, one or two interval sessions just to get used to that. And like place. even doing that fresh, I'll be I'll be happy with that. I, like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I I question my ability to do that fresh, so I'm buzzing that I could do that after doing all that other shit. But yeah, I'm. There so we go, happy. kids. That's why you should take on things that you haven't done <sighs> before and things that intimidate you, because he was intimidated this morning. <laughs> Extremely intimidated. Yeah. So tune in next time for the Olympic distance, followed by the seventy point three, followed by the full distance <laughs> Ironman in maybe Absolutely. twelve months. Let's Absolutely. let's lay down the gauntlet Absolutely. now. Absolutely. But that yeah, is the video. Course. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do make sure that you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. If you haven't, then just don't do anything and go away because we're not here to please you, obviously. And do drop a comment down below as this has been pretty entertaining. I think we can all agree. And make sure that you subscribe to mine and Matt's channel. Although there'll be many more of you that have already done that, I'd imagine. But here we are. There's two of us here. Give us the kudos it's deserved for what has been a big, big old day out. See you next time.